Live from Shadowmere Studios, it's Talkie Box and it's not a Tuma. <laughs> Why are you licking that? <laughs> are you sure? Oh. Um I I thought I spelled something. <laughs> so you were licking the microphone? It's look. Let's get back to the important thing. That it's not a tumor? It's not a tumor. Were you um, I'm, you were... I'm starting to have my doubts. <laughs> I mean, if you're licking microphones. I mean, you know, that's good news. Yeah, I suppose, Cause, yeah. Because we were worried. We were uh-huh. worried about what it might be. Right. And it winds up, it's just... Um, like uh, some strawberry sauce or something? Yeah, or, yeah. I don't know. Mm. Please stop licking the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> strawberry sauce. The strawberry sauce. All right, perfect. <laughs> yeah. He hasn't eaten anything with strawberries today. So that's Jason <laughs> licking microphones. Hey guys, I'm Jason licking microphones. Justin is not licking a microphone. I'm not, not, and I'm not. Dave and I would never lick a microphone because I know where they've been. Never. Or like fresh out of the box, like brand spanking new microphone. It's yours. You need to no. lay claim to it now. No, you know somebody shoved that in their pants right before they put it in that box. Perfect. <laughs> I mean, only if you ordered it from Amazon. Uh, because you know how Joey and his crew are. That's true, yeah. yeah. Probably licking and rubbing their balls on all <laughs> kinds of stuff. <laughs> yep. Mixed he's matching. not even here to defend himself. <laughs> no, he's not. He's talking shit. He should be. He should yeah. be here to defend himself. No, he's got uh, he's got work. Work. Other work. Work, work, work. Mm. work. Not this work. Mm. Yeah, what's going on? Not much, man. Not much. No. I mean, uh, it is my birthday. It's your birthday. It is my birthday. Yep. Yeah. There, yeah. there was something about today that was special. Yep. Uh, I... It's Amazon Prime Day. There it is. That's what Amazon it was. Amazon Prime Day. Yeah. Yeah. So it means that there's a whole bunch of deals on Amazon. Yeah. Today. Can I buy an Amazon? I mean, probably not on Amazon, Why but not? I'm certain that if you go to certain Russian websites. Uh, you could probably buy an Amazon. You could get Wonder Woman memorabilia. Yep. Ooh. Someone actually posted a picture today that I saw that had uh, Wonder Woman's head on Optimus Prime's body. Amazon Prime. Oh. Yeah. I see what they did. Right? Oh. That's uh, that's what, a meme? Yeah, that would be a meme. Yeah, see, that's something I don't really understand. Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to. You don't know? No. Nope. Is that the common ground? Like, like with memes in general? Yeah, just like what exactly is a meme? Yeah, if you you know it when you see it. I, yeah, see, that's <laughs> not the answer I'm looking for. Though. Yeah, that's the answer you're getting. Because it's like what a it's like a single panel, not necessarily thing. And sometimes they're interactive, and sometimes they're not. Sometimes they just express a point of view, mm-hmm. or and then sometimes it's like you know fill out this questionnaire. And I don't really understand. It's essentially just something that goes around and people get involved and and enjoy. Okay. Yeah, then they share it with their friends or whatever. Well, let me, uh, I, I can give you the Wikipedia definition. Okay. Yeah. But I don't know that if, like, contextually it will fit into what we're talking about. But this is the definition. A meme is an idea, behavior, or style that spreads from person to person within a culture. A meme acts as a unit for carrying cultural ideas, symbols, or practices that can be transmitted from one mind to another through writing, speech, gestures, rituals, or other imitable phenomena through with a mimicked theme. All right. I kind of understand what you're saying, and I feel like that does fit the extraordinarily large amount of practices I've seen in, right. in the meme world. Because it yes. goes from, like, just a Game of Thrones guy saying something witty about the president to, like, like fill out this resume or... or if your social security number matches up with this kind of storm, you're this kind of Pokemon. You know, it's always <laughs> something weird like that. That like, sounds like a scam. Now, like what, uh, we can drill what down your, a little bit What's further. your routing number? <laughs> <laughs> That's... We can drill down a little bit further to internet meme, which I think is a lot closer to what you're asking about. Yeah. Uh, it is an activity concept catchphrase or piece of media which spreads often as mimicry or for comedic purposes from person to person via the internet. Oh. Yes, it also may take the form of an image, typically an image macro, hyperlink video, website, or hashtag. It may just be a word or phrase, sometimes including an intentional misspelling. Wow. <laughs> so it can pretty mean much all kinds of stuff. Any form of internet communication. Yeah. Just about. Like, yeah, all it means. Yeah, memeing. 
that isn't like I mean, just like a chat room. If it's if it's any form besides like chat room, it sounds like it's memeing. Right, which in which you could put memes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, that kind of clears it up. I guess it's it just has an unclear nature, so there's no real way to clear it up. You just sort of accept like, okay, this is a meme and this is also a meme. Right. Yeah, you know, I'm very I like structure. Well, um good for you. All right. Well, <laughs> you you guys see any good memes? You you What's what's your favorite meme? You ever participate in a meme? How does one participate in a meme? You know, by just sharing it? By by sharing it or or, or those, creating it? Or creating I've created it. some here, here and there. There's there's several websites where you can go to and make your own memes. And uh, I've done that a few times. I don't remember any of them. They're I think I think that's one of, the, one of the things about memes is like it it comes and goes so fast, like you forget about these things quickly, as new ones pop up. So okay. I don't really have a. Here we go. I got one. I just made a meme yeah. right here. So it, it was it was very simple, <laughs> very easy, uh-huh. and I think it, uh, it it makes sense. I don't know if you guys can see this. We'll we'll get Brian to put it up on the website. Or something. Yeah. Yeah. You know, just just made that really quick. Memes are easy. Just gonna do <laughs> shout outs to Brian now. Brian, can you get that up on the website? Yeah, please. All right. Uh, I mean, yeah. you know. So, social media Brian, or as I like to call him, S N M Brian. He asked me to stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like it. Yeah, I like it a lot. So I'm just gonna keep calling him S N M Brian. I like how you chose Fry to be my representative. Yep. It's nice. Yeah, I was doing what I could. <laughs> All right. Anything anything for you? Well, so that pretty much covers my meme. <laughs> um, yeah. Listen, don't yeah. be upset. We can we can make I, some more memes. Yeah, you know, theoretically we should have like 2 weeks of stuff to talk about cuz we didn't do we didn't do an episode last week. Nope, we, we had didn't. uh we did do uh, a bit on disappointment. Right, yeah, we did our Independence Day disappointment yeah. video. Actually, I brought up to Justin in the car on the way over here to the mm-hmm. studio uh that I no longer put any effort into coming up with topics uh-huh. for just the exact reason that y'all displayed where I'll bring something up mm-hmm. and then it'll go nowhere and y'all will just crash it and shoot it down and we How won't do have we anywhere to How do we crash it and shoot it down? You tell me that, Bucky uh, Bonsai. I mean, he didn't really have anything to say. It no, just kind of dead-eyed me as though <laughs> like I had I was killing the show and you just went silent and you've been tippity-tap typing over here. <laughs> you had a question. I got you an answer. And, sure. and I appreciate it. And, and then you doodled up a meme for us. <laughs> I sure did. Which is really cool because there's a good chance that it'll never be on the website. If... Oh, I'm, I'm going to put it in there. Sure you are. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you, you doodle every show. And we're on, what, 34? I think 35? it's 35. Yeah. yeah. And ain't nobody ever seen any of these doodles. Mm. You, you've told Dave personally. I've witnessed it. And I've sent them. That you have sent them. <laughs> I have. Probably six, seven, eight times. Oh, I, at I least. I haven't gotten a single one. Mm. I don't know like, what your problem is. Like that's that his response That email goes to my time. phone, and it's like not once has it gone. Uh, <laughs> so goodness. it seems to me, it seems to me like somebody's lying to me. Yeah. <laughs> you take a stab at it. It might be you, though. <laughs> it's definitely me. <laughs> I've been lying to my, how do you think I keep pushing through yeah. with this cheery smile? Because <laughs> I lie to myself, right? Like most human beings, mm-hmm. right? And you lie to other people, like most human beings. Yes, yeah, that's true. Some from time to time. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Now, if, if you haven't Not seen that our Independence Day video, uh, go check it out and be disappointed with, along with us. That's on YouTube somewhere. Um, yeah. But I was gonna, so I was gonna do a video for last night with your birthday thing. Yep, we just never did it. Didn't do it. Also, not like a lot going on. We we had dinner, we had drinks. It was a nice time. Oh yeah, it was a good time. It wasn't like a big, you know. If we would have gotten like three thing. more pitchers of margaritas, things would have gotten really interesting. Three more. We had two. We had two. And so you wanted three more. If we would have done that, things would have gotten very interesting. I mean, hell, if we would have gotten one more, things probably would have gotten a little more interesting. Yeah, because somebody would have had anyway, to drive so. us home. Yep. <laughs> more than likely, an Uber driver. Yeah. Or a Lyft driver. Or one of those other... I've never used Lyft, actually. You've never used Lyft? No, only eh, Uber. It's the same thing. I imagine. It's still somebody right. picking you up in their car. Yep. Yeah. They're just, they don't have to be as nice as Uber cars. Really? Yep. Lyft can have shittier cars? Yep. Can yep. it be any shitty car? 
I don't think so. Hmm. I think they do have, you know, they have standards, but not, <laughs> not as not as strict as as uh, as Uber. Yeah, probably not as strict. I think Uber has it has to be within so many uh, like four years, five years old, most or something like that. I, something like that. I wonder what happens if you if you start off with a car that's like at the the maximum age. Do they make you get a new car? I think eventually you might have to get a new car. Hmm. It'd be pretty screwed up, but yeah, it's weird. Oh, but I think oh. they they help you, like with like leasing options or something. Yes, do they? I'm under the impression that they aid you in getting a, a vehicle that's up to their standards. Now I do know I have a friend who uh, a guy I grew up with who became an Uber driver, and he got in a wreck or something at some point, and. That was his job. Like his sole job was Uber driving, but his car was out of commission. They would not let him use a rental car as an Uber car, and so he like had he could not make money until his car got fixed, and he was really pissed about it. Yeah, it's probably some kind of a double insurer law or something like that. I don't know, like where they they would be insuring and the rental car agency would be insuring or something like that. Just. Hmm. I think it's kind of messed up, though, that he had no other option of working, I guess. Because, I mean, I'd I'd like to assume that, like, well, I don't know. I mean, if you're, like, driving a medical van or something like that to, like, hospitals, like, from blood banks to hospitals or something Mm -hmm. like that, and your van gets messed up and you rented another van, like, would there be issue with you driving blood (laughs) in this rented van? I mean, with with, if if you're a blood driver, like, that's... They that's, give you a van, right? That's not your that's van. A blood driver. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's do some research on this. Yeah. Blood drivers. <laughs> but so Hey anyway. Alexa, look up blood drivers. <laughs> There's an American Red Cross blood driver near you today. <laughs> Donate plasma. No, don't do that. It hurts. Now, now me and Jason were having this discussion on the way over here about yeah. ways that we can make more money. Uh-huh. And uh, we were talking about advertisers and stuff like that. And then I think we, we kind of had an epiphany that we just need to get in with companies mm-hmm. and promise to force our listeners to buy products from them <laughs> by telling Alexa to order products from them. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Alexa, order me a Rubbermaid Tupperware set. Now we just have to get in contact with Rubbermaid, not a sponsor. Maybe we should have done that part first <laughs> and then not told all our listeners and viewers the plan. Right. Because now they're going to move their Alexas away, I think. No. No? They want to be part of it. Yeah. They want to be part of the show. I don't know if they want to get I somebody, charged for me. And somebody <laughs> already had a toaster ordered for them. Yeah, that's true. That Which I think is phenomenal. <laughs> I just wish I would have known what brand of toaster, yeah. so we could have gotten in contact with them. Apparently it was a $70 toaster. A $70 toaster. That's a good toaster. It that better sounds be. like a good toaster. I probably wouldn't even cancel be, the order. You better be able to like, put your own face on that toast, man. Like, it sounds like one of those that you can like add an egg to, and it'll like cook the egg for you while it's making your toast. Have you seen those? eggs in a basket? I haven't yeah. seen a toaster that does that. Yeah, there's there's toasters that will like cook you little like sandwiches. Alexa, buy me one of those toasters that'll make that'll egg make sandwiches. an egg sandwich. Yes. Is that is that not just an oven? Uh, <laughs> at that point, like I a mean, toaster that makes you sandwiches, like. Isn't a toaster just a smaller oven? Yeah, for bread. Oh, well, there yep. you go. It's a bread oven. There's actually, there's a company out there uh, that has raised, like, over a billion dollars in creating, like, to create a, a f- faster, smarter oven that will toast bread within 30 seconds and, it, like, it will act as a microwave. It will also crisp things, so it's saying that it can, like, make a pizza. Really? As crispy as it would be in the oven, only you just pop it in the microwave for a few minutes. Okay. Yeah, I'm still waiting to see like the prototype product, but yeah, I I'm think that would that. be yeah. That would get us that much closer to like the Pizza Hut pizzas as seen in Back to the Future, where you just get like a tiny yeah. little disc. Yeah. And then you just have like this steam plate uh oven thing create a full size pizza for you. I like the fifth element where she puts like a, a pill in the microwave oh, and, yeah. a, and a whole chicken dinner comes oh, out. Oh, yeah. That's on, and she's that's like, awesome. chicken. <laughs> I, for some reason, is that, like. Is that what she said? Chicken. 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 
like for some reason that made me want chicken so badly watching that movie every time i watch i'm like man i could why not some pill chicken i I could go for a whole roasted pill chicken that sounds delicious (laughs) well that's probably just you know mila jovovich's influences i mean you know her being in resident evil kind of made me want the apocalypse so she just has that influence i can see that she's a powerful lady have you seen that newest one the newest resident evil Nope. I I didn't. Maybe there's. I've, it's kind of convoluted at this yeah, there's point. Like sort of like the game six series. Six or seven of them. The what series? The game series. I don't know what you're talking about. The video game series. Oh, the video game series of the, Resident Evil. I thought you were talking about like a seri- another series of movies called The Game. Like I don't know what you're talking about. What no, are you talking about? No, no. I'm... Okay, but yeah, I got you. <laughs> yeah, I was like, am I? Am I not? Am I in a? You're different not universe? expressing your bit your, your <laughs> words enough. Um, but no, I get you. Yeah, I, I, I don't remember which movies I've seen now, but they got kind of, I guess if you watch them all at once, you would know what's going on, but having them come out like eight years apart or whatever they do is, <laughs> yeah, I remember a there's, bit much. there's one part where there's, they're like in the desert and then there's another part where it's like all virtual reality yeah. and then there's, I, I, I don't know. It's, it's kind of tough to follow. Yep. Oh, my God. All right, guys. There's something going on. It's an amber alert. It's an emergency amber alert. You know, my phone is so old, I do not get amber alerts. How are you going to save someone's life? Uh, Nunchucks. (laughs) (laughs) That's that's my plan for years. Do you do you have those on? Absolutely you? not. No, no, I'm just I'm kind of hoping that in that moment, like well, you just appear and you. Yeah, you, I'm just like, sort of oh, there they are, looking around, shocked and confused, like, <laughs> oh my god, what's going on? Numchucks. It's time. It's time. <laughs> They're just gonna appear out of nowhere, just waiting for you. Well, they were probably there the whole time. I just didn't notice them until you know. Until it was time. Until it was time. Why you gotta hate on me? God. Are you drawing nunchucks right now? Nunchucks. Yeah, of course you are. Some nunchucks. <laughs> of course you are. They're pretty good. <laughs> I, would, I would use those nunchucks. There they are. It's supposed to be time. Yeah. It's time. It's time for nunchucks. So I was, um, I was thinking about how to celebrate Justin's birthday besides uh, tacos and tequila is not a sponsor. Right. Mm. Um, Which is funny. He, he texted me yesterday about going there and, and I was like, hey, what's the plan for your birthday? He's like, I'm figuring it out. And then he just texted me, tacos and tequilas. I'm like, I like those things. Cool. Where where are we doing this? And he's like, tacos and tequilas. I actually. Oh, made, that's a place. <laughs> I made the same joke, but I knew it was a place. I did not. I had no idea. Yep. But kept everybody on their toes. Eh. Yeah. And then he took a nap, so we refused to respond to any follow up questions. <laughs> uh, well, just, I have this beat out that sounds like and, Justin. Actually, yeah, sent out a yeah. tacos and tequilas and passed out phone in hand. <laughs> I have this um, this like bean bag sort of faux bean bag foamy chair Uh and uh the damn thing is so comfortable (laughs) that i'm in my room Mm -hmm. like watching tv playing some games and stuff on my phone and then the next thing i know it's three hours later (laughs) multimedia (laughs) it's time to get some tacos and tequila yeah like oh god wake up wake up it's time to go yeah and we made it barely but my idea was comedy show Yes. Okay. I thought, like, wouldn't it be great since, you know, Talkie Box is supposed to be funny from time to time. Right. We're working on that. We we, we try. I try. Um, Maybe too hard. (laughs) And we... Don't beat um, yourself up, Jason. And we, you know, but we looked and there were... All the good places seemed to be in Metro Atlanta. Yeah. No outside the perimeter comedy clubs that really seemed to to spark off... um, and then everybody seems to be closed on Monday. Like there's there's no, nothing funny about Monday, <laughs> so we don't we don't do Mondays. Yeah, that uh, sounds right. So it was pretty sad, you know. Like I was like, hey, let's get some funny in our life on this yeah. dreary Monday yeah. day before your birthday. Not an option. Well, nope. I guess uh, maybe you shouldn't have had a birthday on Monday. Well, you didn't. You had a birthday on Tuesday. So. Yeah, today's my birthday. Yeah. I just knew that we'd be doing this, and uh, the reality is that I have to be up at the ass crack of dawn in the morning. Actually, before the ass crack of dawn, you know, the the dark spot of dawn. The, the and, slutty <laughs> tattoo of dawn. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and go to work, so All I right. figured it'd be better 
to uh, have a little more time. Yeah, that makes sense. Yep. Well, uh, maybe next year. Oh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe uh, next year it won't be a day that I uh, I have obligations on the front end of, on the back end of, or mm. what have you. Do something fun, like a comedy show. Yeah. Have you ever been to a comedy show? Yeah. Uh, we we all went to uh, Oddball Comedy Tour. We oh, did. yep. Yep, we sure uh, did. That, that was all like, of us. That was like three years ago or something, right? Yeah. Long a while time. back. Um, Who was in that? It was uh, Aziz Ansari. Yeah. Um, Chris Hardwick. Yep. Oh, yeah. Uh, he Hannibal, did a Bane Han- impression and crawled in somebody's lap, he did. if I remember correctly. I think Hannibal Burris was there. Oh, right? yeah, he sure was. Yep. Um, uh, was Reggie Watts there as well? I feel like he was, but I don't remember seeing. I think uh, maybe you went to get a beer. I think I did. And that was, that, that line was, was those, ridiculous. Yeah, I remember some people going for a beer and being gone like an hour. Yeah, and you a half. like miss an entire set <laughs> if you go for a drink. Um, Just tape it with your phone. I'll come back. Yeah. Uh, I want to say Jim Gaffigan was there, wasn't he? Mm, or no, no, I don't think so. No, Sarah either. Silverman, maybe. No, no. I mean, we were all there, right? I mean, we, were, we tailgated that show too. We had a great maybe. Time. Yeah, I got a. <laughs> I remember. Getting way too drunk and not remembering much. Yeah. And uh, I remember having a great time tailgating that show. And we, <laughs> so we, for those who weren't there, most of the people watching this, we, we posted up a tent, like right at the entrance, actually. Like we got there super early, posted up a tent. Oh, man, that was so much fun. Put up chairs, and this line starts forming. And we're like, y'all are dumb. Like just lining up for this comedy show. We're all drinking. People are like, we should have been hanging out with these guys the whole time. Because mm-hmm. we got to people watch that whole line. We did. Like, and there was just, some, Oh, it was a blast. We got to sit there and drink and just be like, hey, what are you in line for? <laughs> <laughs> like, what's going on tonight? Yeah. And I can just mess with everybody that comes by. It was great. Yeah, there were some weirdos in there, too. Man. Mm. And we made friends with our neighbors because they came with the same idea. Yeah. Like, and they had cornhole. But... Yeah, no, that was a good show. I've also, I've been to a few others. I saw Jeff Dunham uh, once. You went to a puppet show. I did, yep. And that's, it was funny. That's intense. Uh, turns out there's a guy who uh, opens for him called Guitar Guy. And he has an actual name. I don't know what it is. Apparently, he's the dad of one of the guys in Avenged Sevenfold, though. Which was he talked about several times in his little set, which was hmm. kind of interesting. I mean, who would argue with you? I mean, right? I'm not looking it up. <laughs> right? <laughs> Let's uh, see now. Guitar Guy. Yeah. Um, who else have I seen? Who's the guy? I can't think of his name right now. He plays guitar and he's funny. Stephen Lynch. Yeah, Stephen Lynch. Yeah, I've seen him twice. Very funny. Yeah, Great he, shows. He, he had some really good stuff. Late nineties, early two thousands. I don't know if he was late nineties. I think it was just early two thousands. I remember him like when I when I was in college, like two thousand two. Yeah, maybe. I remember being around for quite some time. That's great. I went. He's to probably the, still around. Oh, <laughs> maybe. I went to like an amateur, like a locals kind of amateur kind of thing at the Vortex, yeah. uh, which they had the Laughing Skull. Yes, uh-huh. they do. I the Laughing their, Skull Lounge. Their comedy <clears throat> club inside the Vortex. Uh, and it was a pretty good show. And and oddly enough, uh, we got Margaret Cho. Like Margaret Cho was putting on some kind of a show uh, nearby. And just walked in and was like I'll do a set and so oh, that's good so we got to see a bunch of like mediocre to decent comics <laughs> and then like all of a sudden Margaret Cho showed up even though some of the some of the unknowns actually had a better set you know? right but you know well, she's, she's, probably, famous. she's probably not busting out her best stuff for an open mic at, at right laughing yeah. skull so just what she could remember off the top <laughs> of her head. No fresh jokes, probably. Yeah. Well, let me just see what I got. Pull something out of the old backpack or, here. Or it could be, you know, if you're a famous comedian, you could do stuff like that just to, like, test material. Like, yeah, I absolutely. was thinking this joke might be funny. Let me go play it in front of a bunch of schmucks mm-hmm. that won't remember I was even there. And <laughs> Except for you. See how it plays. Yeah, well, I remember stuff. <laughs> but yeah. it's, it's a good time. Yeah. I wouldn't mind doing it again. I would love to see Stephen Lynch again. If he's still performing, I'd love to go see him again. He's very funny, very good. good see, uh, I've only ever been to a comedy show like when we went to Oddball uh-huh. with like that big amphitheater style. It's the only time I've actually been to a comedy show. Like, I want to go to one of those more intimate, like, right. comedy clubs. Like, I've never been to a comedy club. Mm-hmm. As much as I love stand-up comedy, never been. 
need to make something like that happen. Are they, besides Laughing Skull, what what do they have in Atlanta? There's, I think there's an improv here in Atlanta. Okay. There's Atlanta. There's one that's, I think, just called Atlanta Comedy Club, something like that. There's at least at least four or five. Uh, clubs. I know Dad's Garage is like a big improv theater. Okay. Um, and I think they're like the oldest improv theater in in Atlanta. Because I imagine that it's impossible to be successful, <laughs> so like they're probably the only one that stood the test of time. Maybe, kind of thing. yeah. I'm getting an update from uh, S and M. I mean, social media, Brian. S and M. Brian. Yep. Yeah, S and M. Brian. Uh, he has he has communicated to us. He said, uh, "Take some pre-show pics." And well, it's a little late now, isn't it? <laughs> so yeah. that I can update Instagram. So. We've have a miss to that deadline, Brian. <laughs> we are deep you will, in it. <laughs> we've, we're we're in this. We're like halfway through. So oh. we'll take some post show picks, and uh, I have some memes here that we're gonna try them out. I'm I'm having fun with these memes. <laughs> Making memes. Making yeah. memes. Yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. You know, that way, our audience can search around our website for something that you're obviously not gonna put in. <laughs> <laughs> One day uh, you're gonna you're gonna just find these. just load them down with doodles and memes and shit. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, gonna what, be great. One day my phone's gonna blow up with just like eighty emails that Justin sent me. They've just over been waiting. All these shows. Oh, oh. Well, now I've never been to be an improv show. I have not either. And I would obviously. really like to go to an improv show or even like a crowd work show, mm. which is. I, I don't know if you've ever seen crowd work. Oh, it's, yeah. It's basically where a comedian just stands up in front of the crowd and, like, talks to the crowd and yeah. just picks out certain aspects of people and I saw, engages I saw them a, in funny ways. I saw a thing that Todd Berry did entire tour oh yeah of crowd work shows. He's fantastic. It was amazing. I was super impressed. He was he was in that show I talked about, uh, the 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 show about the comedians that were cutting each other down. Oh, uh, the... Like the... Whatever, Jim Ross's thing? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that Roast thing. Battle or something. Yeah, thank Roast you. Roast Battle, there it was. Yeah, I mentioned that in, like, I don't know. Yeah, several months ago. Months ago. Yeah. But, yeah. I, I think in fact, I think I mentioned the, the crowd work tour during that same thing. Yeah, well, it's worth mentioning twice. It really is. Because he's a talented man. Fantastic. Yeah. Do you, now you didn't you say you went to an improv class at one point? I went to an acting class. Oh, that an act, was okay. like a one free, get one free, just mm -hmm. check us out kind yeah. of thing. Uh, and the beginning of it was basically like a little bit of light, uh, sort of like breathing and like some light acting discussion. Mm -hmm. uh, and the the last half was all improv, just to like try and like just find your relaxation point like be able if you can't act out in front of a class of strangers like yeah. you'll never be able to act out in front of an entire audience right. of strangers so like just find your space yeah. that you can be you know you can be a star in and it was pretty good uh it was my you know obviously the very first time i mm -hmm. was there and um and there were um, an unusual mix of folks, like almost a comedic variety of people, <laughs> like the one so weird, like the one you know. There's always like the handsome gay black guy, okay. always. <laughs> like there's like the older lesbian couple. Like mm -hmm. it really could have been a produced show, like this experience. <laughs> you walk in, like wait, this is wait fake. a second. I'm a <laughs> Truman Show candidate, <laughs> yes, aren't right I? Right there in the middle of it. Yeah. Uh, there was one like one cute girl who was there. I think for confidence, mm -hmm. like I don't think she was actually planning on being an actress because she could barely speak to people. Like I think she was actually taking acting classes just to get sense. over social anxiety yeah. and stuff. And so I got partnered up with her in some of the improv comedy, which worked out great <laughs> uh, because I basically just played off of her not participating right as my comedy focus point and it worked really well i bet it did Did it work well for her oh yeah or just was, for you it was probably the first thing she was a part of that people laughed at <laughs> oh. damn <laughs> <laughs> now she was you know and maybe i helped her to yeah. some degree like maybe <laughs> or maybe she's like that asshole didn't let me speak at all <laughs> no i gave her plenty of opportunities <laughs> <laughs> i gave her uh, tons yeah. tons of opportunities and then you know would use 
comedic like delays <laughs> and stuff to just be like, all right, <laughs> good talk, perfect. Yeah. Did you draw Spider Man on that? I did draw Spider Man. Funny, right? you should mention Spider Man. It's Dave. the damnedest it? thing. Yeah, <laughs> we saw Spider Man. How was it? I really liked it. It was the homecoming, right? It was the Spider Man homecoming, and yeah. which you know that was because there was actually a homecoming. Yep, there was. I, I gave it away. Spoilers. Spoilers. The whole the thing's homecoming ruined. Spider Man homecoming. Yep, yep. I ruined it. Uh, ruined everything. Now, besides that point, I won't ruin any more. But I do have opinions that we talked about at yep. the end of the, the movie. And I, I support the people that say this is the best Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. Now, the actor is a 21-year-old. Yes. Uh, but he's got a super, Tom Holland. super baby face. Yeah. So he, he looks the part of a junior high schooler. Right. And I feel like they've really pushed emphasizing him being young and right. immature and not just being able to jump into the mold of superhero right, right off the cuff like you, you had with Tobey Maguire yep. and the other kid nobody cared about. Andrew Garfield. Yeah. <laughs> and like, you know, because they like they go through the montage of like spider pit. And the next thing you know, they're fighting like super duper villains, like yeah. just just mastered their abilities. Right. And and there's no like you know, ninth, tenth grade <laughs> feel about the whole thing. They yeah. just feel like they grow into Spider Man so quickly. Yeah, Whereas this one feels like young, dumb Peter Parker. <laughs> yeah, this, still this, still trying to figure out what's going on. Still trying yep. to trying get to, this shit together. Yeah. Like wanting to be more like overly than he cocky, be. but also very timid and insecure at the same time. Yeah. Uh, just, I thought it was a, a great performance. Um, I felt like it was, uh, in terms of like a standalone Spider-Man movie, mm -hmm. it doesn't showcase like the superhero Spider-Man as we've come to expect from movies like Jason was saying. You do get a different version almost, and it gives it a different feel. Right. But it fits in with the cinematic universe, mm -hmm. and it it was just well done. Like it, it does have that, that theme of youth and right. immaturity that... I mean, it plays well to the character. I really enjoyed it. Which makes sense, given, like, what... I, I've always felt that, and, and this, I think Stan Lee even said this, like, Marvel, the, the Marvel comic books have always all had their own themes. And Spider-Man was, was essentially puberty. Like, it was, a, it was about... It was a coming of age coming, A coming of age. But a superhero coming of yeah. age, you know? With great power comes great... Um, like, bone spurs? Yeah. Uh -huh. um, right. Bone spurs. <laughs> <laughs> Is is that a superhero? It feels like it should be bone Bones spurs. Bones spurs. <laughs> Wait, I'm thinking a bone saw. Yeah, <laughs> bone saw is ready. Listen, if you're that's, jumping that's off a building, yeah. if you're jumping off of buildings all the time, peace. I don't care how super strength you are. Eventually, you're gonna get like a hairline fracture in your foot, mm -hmm. and you're gonna get bone spurs. <laughs> you're gonna start limping around after a while. Yeah, it's just an inevitability. He's right. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not faulting on that. That's yeah. yeah. true. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad we established that. Yeah, so it's a good movie. It's a good Marvel movie. Yeah. Good movie. Would Worth say, the watch. Would okay. you say better than Wonder Woman? <sighs> Wonder Woman was really good. Wonder Woman was really good. I think for me, it comes down to universe preference, and I have to go towards Spider-Man more, just because I'm I'm more emotionally invested in Spider-Man as a character, but also in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yeah. That being said, Wonder Woman was hands down. One the of the best, best DC movie. Well, it was hands down it. the best DC movie to come out yeah. anytime recently, uh, but probably one of the better superhero movies that have have come out in recent years. Certainly. Um, I mean, as a if you look at it as a standalone, I think it's phenomenal. Uh -huh. When you start linking it in with the other movies, it kind of decreases its merit a little bit, as opposed to Spider Man, where I feel I feel like its connectivity makes it better. Yeah. Familiarity and nostalgia, I would agree with you. Uh, I did. I was more in tune with the Spider-Man and Spider-Man's universe. Right. But I would say, as far as the actual like movie and direction and stuff like that, I would say that Wonder Woman beat it out a little bit. It was a phenomenal movie. Phenomenal movie. Apparently, uh, 
I found out earlier today, apparently the next Wonder Woman movie is also going to be a bit of a period piece. It's supposed to take place in the 80s. Ooh. Don't. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my fault. Because I'm coded this way. <laughs> What are you uh, coded in? Huh? What are you coded in? <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> That's no, gross. No. You don't want to know what I'm don't coded in. Don't be gross. Uh, mm, it's not just ones and zeros, baby. Yeah, but apparently Chris Pine is, is also slated to come back for Interesting. the next movie, which, given that it's going to be 60 years in the future, is uh, from from the previous movie, you know, make him kind of damn old. Make him, like, really damn old. Make yeah, like but it's a lot old. easier to make a guy old than trying to make him young. Yeah. I mean, these days, True. they've been doing a pretty good job of making people look young. Yeah. Uh, they've been doing kind of a shit job of making people look young. I mean, better Compared than... to what they've been capable of before. I suppose that's true. Cause, and here's first-hand example. Justin and I, before we came up here, we watched The Truman Show. Great uh, show. Great uh, movie. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Uh, beautiful. Beautiful movie. Now, they do a flashback scene in there where, like, Everybody's back in high school now. They're uh, they're they're all like thirty something in the movie. They're like married and yeah. they've, but there's no latex work. There's no movie magic work. Like they do a flashback. All of these people are the exact same actors, <laughs> just wearing like band uniforms and yeah. and like we we're all in high school. Slick down and yeah, <laughs> cheerleader outfits and stuff. But you can. I mean, still, Jim, like, Jim Carrey. The only change that he really makes is he just like. Puts a little wine in his voice. He's like, "Remember, you're gonna have to be the one to copy off of me." Like that's <laughs> as far yeah. as it goes to like the de aging. And yeah. he Isn't slicks changing? his hair down a little. Uh-huh. He kind of goes dumb and dumber with it. That's a little exa- bit. like uh, every, most things I've seen, especially with TV shows. At least whenever they show a flashback of people younger, it's always like some hair slicked down. Mm-hmm. Like that. That's immediately younger, apparently for yep. for every every male actor. Yep. I mean, or it makes them more depressed. Look and at Spider Man Three. Female actors put their hair up in a ponytail. That makes him look younger. Yep. Apparently. I mean, it's not wrong. It didn't work in I, the Truman Show. They all look the exact <laughs> they same. They all look exactly the same. <laughs> what what blows my mind is, you know, you, you you think about why they do that, why they always like have the hair down, and it's it's that that shag that for some reason all teenage kids mm-hmm. seem to go for. It's always just like the longer, messier hair. I remember being in high school seeing all of these like shagged hair yeah. and I'm like, this is eventually going to go out of style. Yeah, and here it is really. 10 years later, and all the high school kids are still wearing that same ridiculous hair. <laughs> it's just that rebelliousness, I guess. Yeah, uh, I did it before I actually grew my hair yeah. out. I, I definitely went the, the shaggy route. I mean, did did you have the flip? No, I didn't do that nope. then. No. I did. <laughs> I'm sure you did. <laughs> did, yeah, you, I think did you the, shag it out? No. No? Because the whole point of high school is like, like, Fitting in while maintaining an air of being different, yeah, like so. and rebelling. See, I think in my high school, there wasn't a lot of shaggy hair kids. Like it was like me and one other dude. So I don't know. Maybe it's because we were from small town Georgia. Small town, small Georgia. town South Georgia. So, so I pretty much just refused to fit in. Mm. I mean, the only the only thing that ever like you also don't fit in because you're freakishly tall. That, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I fit in in, like, basketball communities, but I was a huge nerd (laughs) in school. And so, no, I was good. I was good. I mean, I'm too short for, like, the NBA. Yeah. And not good enough (laughs) for the NBA. But I could play, like, Bosnian basketball or, like, (laughs) some kind of European league. You think you'd be a baby and an old person? Hmm? Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I could be, like... Two babies and two old people. <laughs> At once? At once. Oh, I could dang. use them to beat each other. <laughs> Damn. Uh, but, yeah, it's, so I, I never really fit in, but I never really understood how to fit in, and mm. so I just, Decided I would think about it. it. I would think about it like, oh, I'm, I'm not cool, and, <laughs> you know, I don't really have a lot of friends, but, you know what, screw it. Yeah. I got books and imagination. And I was actually really good at sports because apparently being smart helps you at sports. It helps you figure out how to do the sports, I guess. Yeah, which is a lot of sports. That's a big part of sports. The like, fundamentals. It's an important part of sports. <laughs> like you'd be ama- amazed at how much like mind game you can like play in things like basketball and 
you know, where you get to be face to face with somebody and you can whisper things to them, yeah. like without the ref even hearing what you're saying. <laughs> you're just trying psychological warfare. Mm-hmm. Now, I got, I got to say, you can't see this at home yet until we get it put up, but uh, that's a, a pretty good Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. That's a shit awful basketball you drew. <laughs> yeah, let me, let me try and fix it. No, I don't care. Oh no, it's too late now. <laughs> But, you know, there's all kinds of things. Like, hey, every time you go for a layup, uh, your your dick falls out of your shorts, man. You should probably, just, <laughs> you should probably, you know, do something. And then they're going to think about it. Like, every time they go up. Like, oh, man. Like, is uh, my dick really falling out of my, my shorts? Is my dick falling out of my shorts right now? And that'll give me a chance. Yeah. Unless, unless they're like, yeah, no. You know, <laughs> like, I do they're that like, on purpose. I dare, I dare you to come try and guard this basket. Because <laughs> you're going to get dick all over you. That's all right. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll yeah, take a reaching right. in. That's a foul. Is it? Reach, uh, reaching in is a foul. No, I'll have to remember that I when, I, when I go up against the, the baby and the old person. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's right. Well, the, who else did we say you were going up against? Uh, the like baby, a, a the bag old of hair part. or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's shaving way. <laughs> We were actually discussing the logistics of the bacon eating contest earlier. Really? Yeah, what? and like how we're going to make this work. How would it? How would it not work? It's well, a bunch I mean, of bacon. It's a lot it. of bacon. We have to cook. I mean, yeah. We have to make sure that there's enough bacon that we won't have to cook bacon in the middle of the contest. Okay. Yeah. You see what I'm I saying? Get that. Yep. So I'm thinking like 15 pounds. Yep. And he's also saying we have to buy the bacon. Whoa. We should have sponsors by that. Point. We should have sponsors. <laughs> Yeah. It'd be great if we had some sponsors who would be willing to buy us 15 to 20 pounds of bacon. Uh-huh. We may have to change this year. to a celery eating contest. Oh, <laughs> sounds that probably won't take as long. No, because <laughs> somebody will be like, you know what? I'm I'm done. Yeah. Is I'm there did anybody take to. a bite? Congratulations. <laughs> you I, mean, I like win. celery, but I'm going to need some ranch dressing involved. What about peanut butter? No, I don't like peanut butter. You don't like peanut butter. I, I heard said. him just say that. Yeah. You communist Portuguese. I know it's weird. I like peanuts. Butter's fine. I don't like peanut butter. (laughs) So what did you eat on your peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? Just jelly and bread. Mm. So it was a jelly sandwich. Mm. Yeah. No peanut butter. God. Sorry, dude. It's un-American. It's not un-American. It is. It's very unpatriotic. That's not what it is either. George... Washington, Foreman, Jefferson, Carver, Carver. Yep. <laughs> I don't know. He started. He said something about Foreman or something. Yeah, George Washington, Foreman, Carver, <laughs> Jefferson. Okay. Yeah. He made that grill, right? Yeah, out of peanuts. <laughs> a peanut grill. He the made the grill out grill. of peanuts, yeah. like for, for like like your teeth. Uh-huh. No. A, a grill. So yeah. <laughs> peanut butter. Yeah. American. Uh, I don't like it. It's ah. Uh, it's. Shut what up. about other nut butters? <laughs> How do you feel about going to Trader Joe's? I've never been to a Trader Joe's actually. No, I don't. I couldn't even tell you where well, one if is. If you want to see a myriad of nut butter, yeah, go to Trader go Joe's. To Joe's, they it's got all butter. kinds of things. Nut it's... butters mainly, <laughs> rare cheeses. Uh-huh. They have like dried fruits you've never heard of. You ever had dragon fruit? I haven't. I've heard. That it's a fruit. I think I've had it's it in fruit. Starburst. Does that count? So, Dragon uh, S- Snapple used to make this series of drinks called Snapple Elements, and they were really good. And there was one called it was called Fire, and it was dragon fruit flavored, and it was delicious. I, I would I get these things as series. much as I possibly could. Uh, Sobe also had a series similar, and they had a really good one too. Yeah, the dragon fruit. <clears throat> right. Thanks for joining. <laughs> in. <laughs> Way to chime. Just um, a bit outside. So, uh, a few weeks ago, uh, the roommates picked up a dragon fruit. And if you've never seen one, it looks pretty cool. Like, it's this red, like, light reddish, almost pinkish color. It's got these kind of, like, spiky bits coming out of it that aren't sharp or anything. They just look like spiky bits. Okay. It looks like a puffer fish, right? Sort of, yeah. And so, we're like, we're going to eat this thing. It's going to be fucking delicious. And so, we cut it up. The inside is white. <laughs> With these black seeds in it, and it looks completely different from what you would think it would, and it has virtually no taste whatsoever. So no idea where that dragon fruit flavor comes from. With all the re- it's a color, just like all the rest of the fl- I fruit guess, flavors. But it's so damn good. Yeah, 
It's just some random color chemical signature. Yeah, so we we looked it up, and it was like, yeah, eat this with other things, so there's flavor. Now, is it like a pomegranate? Do you eat the seed, or do you eat the flesh? It's like the seedy bit inside, because it's, it's really t- almost like a strawberry seed, small, okay? okay? Inside the white fleshy bit in the middle, and then there's the red uh, rind, I guess it is, that I suppose you don't eat. I don't know. Okay. Uh, so yeah. It looks looks a little like this. No, it looks exactly like that. A whole bunch like that. Yeah. And I'm sure that's just far enough away that the yeah. audience can see Everyone can see that, right? See totally, yeah. So you have this white bit here. That's the part you eat, and it tastes like nothing. And you have this red bit around here that does, that you don't eat, and so I don't know what it tastes like. Maybe now that's it, the delicious part. It looks like it's filled with delicious cookies and cream. It's not. It does. It looks like there's cookies and cream ice cream. It uh, does look like it, that. It, that it looks like someone happening. took out the insides of a radici and stuffed it with cookies and cream. What the hell is a radici? I think it's a tiny radish. It yeah, sounds he like, doesn't really know. It sounds I like don't a actually know. I just make stuff up. You know this. But, a radici. <laughs> but a lot of the times it's accurate because my brain stores things that I'm unaware of. Yeah. <laughs> okay. California versus green pine. Yeah. Uh, green face. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you type that in. You'll get close enough. Right. You'll yeah. figure it out. <laughs> Google will take you Basically, halfway. you can you can rummage through somebody's trash. Did That's you what mean the actual thing? That's what Google will say. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Did you mean what you were actually looking for? But that's really yes, that's thank really you. thank you. Google. That's the highlight, right? Is when you remember enough to get Google to get you the rest yeah, of the true. way. I'll give you that. Yeah, because right, there's a lot of times where you'll be like, "What was that thing?" And you just randomly start <laughs> typing in things that you are like kind of right. tie to that other thing, and you like, "Oh, do you, do you mean this?" And you're like, "Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what I meant." That's how it is, like song lyrics. When it's like, "I know there's this song. I don't know what's called." I know the words, uh, I am thee. What's that song, Google? Uh, I am thee. But that's like, oh, every shit. fucking song. I don't, what What do you? Like, oh, shit. Let me come up with this really quick. What are you coming up with right now? Are you drawing pomegranates? I'm drawing or, dragon uh, fruit. Yeah. Dragon fruits? That's great. Yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> You're just making, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, anyway. Oh, I love you guys. That brings us to roughly the end of the show. What? <laughs> yeah. No way. Every it... every week I tell you it's the end, and you're like, what? I can't believe it. No way. No, last week we had Tony. Yeah. And Tony is not here this time. He's not. No. He's not. <sighs> He's in Florida. Yeah. Oh. No. Well, that would explain it. Yeah. He but should be back next week, though. That'd okay, be awesome cool. if he came back. He said he actually sent me a text. He said I will definitely be there next week. Yeah. Okay, so that means we have like at least a thirty percent chance. Right. So Last time we had here. Tony, I got to ask. I had a, a human being that I could be like, Tony, how much time we got left? And he was like, fifteen minutes. And I was like, shit, <laughs> that's a lot of time. <laughs> that's so much more than I planned for. Oh, I yeah. ain't got nothing to talk about, you guys. <laughs> but it seems like this time we pushed through that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah somehow. I think I think it was the dragon fruit that really. Got us to the next <laughs> level. Just over that pushed bar, us yeah. over there. Yeah. So, pushed what'd you learn on the show today? Uh, that dragon fruit is uh. filled with cookies and cream. Yeah, that's right. Mm. <laughs> Justin. I learned that I would definitely prefer a bacon eating contest over a celery eating contest. Yeah. yeah. What if I promise you some ranch dressing with that celery? That's That's a lot of dairy. And something tells me in the summertime, like, you're not going to guarantee that ranch is going to be cold. Yeah. So eventually, it's what? just going to be like warm. We could do that part inside. Eventually, it's going to be just... <laughs> I mean, do you think it's going to a... get like that film, like that film that Ranch gets on it when the, it's if been you keep exposed. Dipping. Now, oh. what do you think you have a better shot at? You think you'll, you'll win the bacon eating contest, but not win the celery eating contest? Yes. All and right. when I say win, I mean not only would I eat more, but I would feel more like a winner. <laughs> when it was all said and done. I cannot imagine that being true. No. There's no, no. amount of enormous amount of bacon <laughs> that I can <laughs> consume. <laughs> and There's no good. enormous amount. No, absolutely not. No, There's but see, no I'll amount be... of enormous amount. Yes. <laughs> but you just purge. I do, from yeah. time to time. <laughs> I mean, it is a waste of bacon. It's a I terrible actually, waste of bacon. Uh, but I, whatever. Let's kill with a topic see, for next week. <laughs> but whatever you don't eat in the celery is gonna get thrown away. Do you away. puke bacon? <laughs> whatever you don't eat in the bacon is gonna be saved. What about bacon wrapped celery? Uh, yep. Yeah. 
All right. Is the bacon crispy? What did you learn? <laughs> <laughs> Today I learned that things are a little bit better when Tony is here. <laughs> <laughs> eh, yeah. yeah. But it's just because of that handsome face. Right? Yeah, not trying to downplay you, Tony. And apparently well, he's Jason Italian. Is. I thought like Icelandic. Have you spoken to him? Mm-hmm. He is clearly Italian. <laughs> Yeah, I was uh, making a joke because his name is Tony, uh-huh. and I believe everybody named Tony is Italian. Is Italian. Yeah. All right. So That's probably I, true. So and was... then there's another topic for uh, next week's Talkie Box, racism. <laughs> <laughs> do you know someone around you who's racist? Do you do your best to call them out whenever you get a chance? Racist. If not, watch next week's episode, and we'll show you how. <laughs> That's it for tonight. I guess uh, check us out on YouTube and yep. other places. Oh, yeah. And if you guys haven't voted on the second episode of the Chupacabra That's Kid right. yet, what are you waiting for? Talkiebox.net. Check it out over there. Uh, I think it's actually Talkiebox.net slash Chupacabra dash kid. Yeah. Or you can just go to Talkiebox.net and go to the menu uh-huh. and select Chupacabra Kid. Or Google Chupacabra Kid, and it's probably the only time you'll find those words together. Yep. I mean, if you have a hard time spelling Chupacabra, just go to the website, TalkieBox.net. Just It'll tell in, you how to spell just it. Just type in as close as you at want, and Google will be like, did you mean Chupacabra? <laughs> it will. Mm-hmm. That's right. Because Google is a pretentious son of a bitch. That's right. Uh, subscribe, like, comment, tell us what you think about the show, tell us what else we should talk about, and uh, have a great night. Good night, everybody. Just bang, bang, bang the drum. Bang, bang, folks. <laughs> big bada, big bada, bang, bang. Oh good. man, I've exposed. Funny story. And then I just black out. No, we did. But we started at nine minutes. Yep. Oh, so we uh, <laughs> we have nine minutes. Yeah. Well, we've already said good night. Yeah, we did. So unless you. All right. So Dave is terrible about telling time. And we've ruined everything by showing you that I actually wear pants. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, folks. We can cut I'm that sorry. bit out. We can keep doing the show. I don't I care. I mean, we, we could <laughs> if you want to. I was, I didn't want to argue, but I'm like, we're still at like 50-something minutes. How have we done an hour yet? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> mm, take two. Uh, we'll split that up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I have to draw a clock really quick. <laughs> so it turns out we still have, um, like... Everybody take your positions. <laughs> I don't remember what I was doing. It was like this. And, and break. so it turns out <laughs> uh, we still have several minutes left in the show, and I'm bad at telling time. It would have been great if Tony was here. You it would have been fantastic. You know what would have been really here. great yeah. is if when I said, oh, my God, I can't believe it, you'd have been like... <laughs> You're right. We You're still right. got nine minutes yeah. left. Yeah. Oh man. That is not how that <laughs> went down. So. <laughs> oh yeah. So you mentioned purging a second ago, and it made me think of the movie The Purge. All right. Not the same thing. I mean, he technically mentioned. One purging. of y'all mentioned purge. Shut up. And yes. so, have you seen the Purge movie, the first one? No. Really? You never saw the first Purge? No. no I saw it. Yeah. But I know it's about. Uh, poor people getting rid of each other one day a year. Pretty much, yeah. And then they made a second one, which was essentially the same. Th- the The first one is is actually uh, the poor people were attacked. Or actually, it was still it's actually rich people going after other rich people. The second one was about uh, this guy trying to get revenge on something and during Purge Night. The third one had something to do with like some politician or something. What I want to see is a movie of the first Purge. Like, where some politician came up with this idea, like, we're going to have this one night where everything is legal. And I want to see how that goes. Because we, we see, like, in the the first movie, it's, like, several years into them doing this. And I want to know, like, how did people react to the very first time when people were like, yeah, you can do whatever you want. What started the Hunger Games? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like... Like, what is the build up to this crazy moment? Right, where they they've decided that this is the solution. This yeah. is now the this solution. is where and, we go. And how did here. that go over the very first time? Where people are like, I don't know if I want to do that. Like, I guess I can, but should I? Also, why is everyone's focus on murder <laughs> when everything is legal? 
I would be stealing homes. Like, I would steal houses and cars and shit and boats and whatever else I want. Well, I don't know if you could really steal a home. You absolutely can. Because the next day... You're still in that house. But the next Squatters day... Squatter's like, rights. Boom. I think that takes time. If the deed is in the house, that's my deed now. I've stolen it. It's mine. This is my house. But it's got like... Get off my lawn. Documented signatures and stuff that go along with that deed. Forgery is legal. Yeah. Okay. Damn. Yeah. All See? Right. As long as Damn. you do all of the illegal things you need to do, yeah. uh, you know, like torture the actual homeowner, like get <laughs> all the documents properly signed over to your name. Yep. As long as you do it within that 24-hour period. It's not 24. It's actually like, I think it's only like 12 hours or something. Oh, it's yeah. going to be tough. You're going to need some lawyers on call. No, you don't. Forgery. <laughs> Yeah, this is all your signature right here. You can't tell me it's yeah, not. Yeah, it won. Yeah. I won. Already. I forged that last night during the purge. It's legal. I, I think somehow it has to actually, like, get into the hands Bullshit. of the government <laughs> and be, like, filed. Yeah. Even if you do it illegally, it still has to, like, get in there. Yeah, maybe. Um, I would probably not go with real estate. It just seems very complicated. Well, here's a better idea, okay? Thanks. You, you uh, forge up a, a will. Okay. And then just kill the homeowners. Now it's yours. See? Yeah. But you're still murdering, but that's okay. Yeah. I mean, you can it, yeah. forge it's up legal. a whole neighborhood of wills yeah. and just go through. Now, this is this makes you a very awful person. You're, <laughs> well, yeah. You're a terrible, awful human being. Absolutely. Uh, and I think it would be cooler if you just Robin Hooded a bunch of banks and shit. Like, oh, man. A bu- you know, like insured money that the mm-hmm. government just backs or whatever. And, like, there's no real See, victim. That, you get to be super cool pirate guy for a day. And yeah. That'd probably be really difficult, though, like getting into a bank's vault and all that stuff for their on money. On purge night? Yeah. yeah. They, they've probably got... They lock that stuff up pretty tight. Stuff locked I up I mean, I tight. would. But that's why you, you start off like... You plan it way early. Yeah, you plan it way yeah. early so that you like first bust into like a, an old armor depot mm-hmm. kind of thing. You steal a bunch of... You know, decommissioned explosives. <laughs> yeah, then you go to the bank. Right. Yeah. You know, I'll have it worked out by then. If I get a, <laughs> if I get twelve hours to work yeah. out a master plan, guaranteed once a year oh. I will have a we'll master have a plan. plan. Yeah. Yeah. You just got to be careful because the conspiracy before the purge would be illegal. Yeah. I'd be looking for loopholes if I were the law. That's true. Yeah. If I were. I mean, you have to think about how hard it would be to manage that day from, like, a law enforcement standpoint. As long as there was no, you didn't leave any evidence of your of your preconceived planning of this, then I feel like, ah, yeah. they, they can't prove it, right? True. But, yeah, I don't think I'd kill people. However, I would expect other people to just be sociopathically <laughs> out there trying to kill me, yeah. so, like... While I'm out there robbing the shit out of stuff, anybody that comes at me with an attitude and a shotgun <laughs> is going to get one. Yeah. <laughs> you have to be prepared to take a life. Even if it's not a plan, you have to be prepared to do it. Yeah. Because yeah. someone is likely to try and take yours. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Especially if you have anything of value, yeah. like a house. Like a brand new house and a brand new bank vault. Yeah. I mean, I'm surprised. Legitimately, you would just assume, like, People would just start setting fires to like political buildings and stuff like yeah. that. Like, you know, like. I remember, it, I, it's been a while since I've seen any of the movies. I haven't seen the third Purge movie, but I remember in the first two, they do mention there's a couple of rules in place and that certain members of the government are off limits. Oh, okay. Um, I was going to say, you could just completely tear down a government yeah. in 12 hours if everybody in the world is on board. Right. You but think, then, like, Secret Service members, does it not count for them? Uh, Are they not allowed to just, like, you know what, I think we should be careful, just in case somebody's listening, about talking about what we would do if the purge were real? Mm-hmm. Dave? We all know yeah, it's not real. Is. Yeah. Yeah. But that so your mean... paranoia is going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's still there. It's not going anywhere. You're right. I can't get rid of it. They're watching. I hope so. I hope they subscribe. Yeah, right. <laughs> right? If you're going to be watching, you might Big as well brother. subscribe. Big brother, if you're watching, please c- click subscribe. Yep. 
Uh, oh. All right, so that brings us to the end of the show again. The, 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 the <laughs> Should we do another? What? Yeah, right. Should we do another what I learned today? <laughs> um, I learned that uh, that Dave's ability to perform math <laughs> on f- segments of time yeah. has slowly deteriorated since the time that I met you. Yeah. I'm getting older. <laughs> <laughs> I learned that dragon fruit is filled with cookies and cream. Ah, yeah, well, you learned that again, huh? I did. All, All right. over again. And I learned that we definitely need Tony <laughs> next week. <laughs> Tony! Tony! And Joey and Mickey and all those. Destiny, yeah, everybody. Wonderful people yep. that More. help the show. One day we'll have a show with everyone here and we won't have enough microphones. Oh, it'll be great. It'll be Musical glorious. microphones. We've got this, this, this big old gnarly bastard here. It picks up everybody. It does. It does. Yeah. Hey, I think there's another yeah, Amber nice. Alert going on. Anyway, have a great night, everybody. We'll see you next week. And do all the things that I told you to do the first time we showed Yeah, we, we show. told you to do all that stuff. Just go ahead and do it. Good night. It's Good night. written on the wall. Yeah. <laughs>